So here's uh, the next step in this whole process. We got some good information from our use science data and it's told us a little bit about who we are and it's told us a lot about career interests and aptitudes and we know the difference between an interest and an aptitude. And you were back here, this is the my school data part. You probably will recognize this. And in the my school data, you may have already written in some things here, but you've probably gained some new information. So who am I? What can I become? And how will I become that? Let's try to get at least two or three sentences in there, maybe four or five, now that you've got some new information. This will keep growing and changing throughout your four years. This is what's called the high school and beyond plan, and we review it every year. Scrolling through this part of the document, it's going to tell you, here's where you put the data that you just gathered up. Here's some career interests, and put in at least three. This is where we know what you did through your youth science stuff. And then here's some ideas for your after high school plans. They don't have to be college, but if they are, we definitely need to help you make the right choices in your advising. And you never want to close the door because you might want to open it up later on. When you cruise through the rest of my school data, just to give you a little perspective, it'll have a place where you'd write down some of your career college readiness work. This happens a little bit later on. You'll have some dual credit stuff. This will get later on. This is really important. Start to put down anything that you've done already that includes internships or work experience. Maybe you've been volunteering a lot during the pandemic. Extracurriculars, activities, and awards. It could even be things that people say about you. Like I had an a email that came back from a parent that had a note for me that was an award for me. Well, I think I would write that down. Like this is a teacher that tried, a family that trusted me. I'd write it in here. In your personalized pathway, you'll get more information through this. But here's what your interest is. And I took my inventory, so now I know that. And then this is the work we're gonna start working on. What are some classes that I can take that will help connect me with that? And then what would that look like in my post-secondary plans? Post means after, secondary means high school. And then this talks a little bit about who will work with me on that. That's your advisory teacher and your counselor. Your timeline is this year, and then it'll be even further as we go on through things. This is your graduation plan. So this will show, this is what this person's taken and then what credit they've got. This is where you'll see your graduation plan grow. This is really important because it'll make a difference in you having your diploma or having things you have to finish. And down here's where the testing part happens and the state testing happens. So every year we're gonna look back through your high school and beyond plan and see, are we making progress? Do we need support? What's happening? I want you to take your information from your youth science and I want you to use it to start to, in, to populate those fields that are the first three, which you've done a little bit of. Who am I? What can I become? How will I become that? I want you to put in your career interest inventories. And then if you have a plan, you write down at least your rough draft in that part. Take a peek then and scroll down and see, am I, do I have things to add for my internship and, inter and extracurriculars? And then definitely see, what class am I in? What credit am I getting? How is it part of my plan? What class am I in? What credit am I getting? How is it part of my plan? If you have questions, talk about it with your advisory teacher. If they have questions, invite me to advisory. Take care, you guys.